As cows go from late pregnancy to lactation, they go through dramatic physiological changes. These physiological changes cause dramatic changes in the metabolism of the cow. And when we feed the cow, we try to feed her from a nutritional perspective to make those metabolic challenges as, as easy and as tolerable as possible for the cow. We have first lactation cows versus older cows, and metabolically they're a little bit different. The older cow actually goes through a, a bigger challenge than the premier Paris cow. So from an energy standpoint, it's, it's a little bit more easy to feed and manage the premier Paris cow. The exception to that may be prior to calving when that first lactation animal is not eating quite as aggressively. She has more of a requirement for growth and consequently because of the lower feed intake and some of the, the higher requirements we, we actually have to feed her for a period of time a little more aggressively. Some of the challenges that I've found when I'm in Peru is that sometimes the quality of feeds are not as high as we typically experience in the, in the United States. Probably the best example is, is the forage quality. You are heavily dependent on corn silage and some of the corn silage here tends to be very high in fiber, very low in grain or very low in starch. And, and during this period of time, the transition period and early lactation, the, the cow needs, needs energy, she needs that starch, she needs, she needs it to be converted in the rumen to propionate to make glucose. So my recommendation for cows and managing cows in this country is to take care of cow comfort. Because if we can get the cow comfortable, then she'll eat more. And if she'll eat more, then she'll take in more energy, she'll take in more protein, and so some of the complications and challenges will be taken care of.